Milkweed plants are attractive and hardy native perennials that bring pollinators from far and wide to any garden. They are also critical habitat and food for monarch butterflies, whose caterpillars feed exclusively on milkweed. But milkweed can also be a hassle for gardeners. Weed is right there in the name. All milkweed species can spread readily by dispersing seeds and through underground rhizomes. However, with a few simple tricks, you can enjoy milkweed in your garden and provide habitat for monarchs without fear of a milkweed monoculture. First, consider your choice of milkweed species. There are 12 species of milkweed native to Wisconsin and all provide abundant flowers for butterflies, bees, and other pollinators. Common milkweed is easily recognizable with its large opposite oval leaves, but it is also the most notorious for spreading outside of garden beds. Other species like swamp milkweed, world milkweed, or butterfly weed are often more manageable in formal perennial beds. Well, hello, my name is Erin Presley and I'm a horticulturist here at Ulrich Botanical Gardens in Madison, Wisconsin. Some of our favorite species of milkweed to use in the garden to support monarchs include the brilliant orange butterfly milkweed, or as we like to call it, butterflies delight, Asclepius tuberosa, which is a great plant for dry, gravelly, hot, sandy areas. We also frequently grow a more moisture-loving milkweed, swamp milkweed, which is Asclepius incarnata, which gets to be about four to five feet tall and has a beautiful rose pink flower and appreciates a little bit more moisture than some of its other more drought loving cousins. So rose milkweed or the swamp milkweed is one of our favorites for a general garden condition like you might have growing with your other perennials in your yard. There are also some specialty milkweeds that grow in areas where you might not think that you could even grow a milkweed. So one of those would be world milkweed, which is a very small plant that's native to dry prairies. And it um, has a lot of very fine little leaves that the monarchs can, can still find and munch on. So you'll very frequently still find their caterpillars on there. And that one loves really dry gravelly conditions. Um, and another favorite of ours that we're experimenting with is Sullivan's milkweed, which doesn't seem to be quite as aggressive as the common milkweed that you may have seen growing in natural areas or on roadsides near you. Next, consider the placement of milkweed within your garden. There are a few techniques if you have milkweed that is existing in your yard already or are considering, considering planting the common milkweed, Asclepia syriaca, there's a few ways that you can still control its spread. Um, it does have a running root system that can tend to be a little aggressive in a garden situation. So if you're thinking of planting common milkweed, it can be good to plant it either in a wide open space where it has room to spread and make a really beautiful colony, or consider planting it in an enclosed area, maybe um, between your sidewalk and the side of your house, where it won't interfere with your other plantings. Most milkweed prefers full sunlight, but you can reduce the spread of rhizomes by planting milkweed in a corner or up against a barrier near the edge of your garden. Planting milkweed in an area that is sheltered from the wind can help reduce the spread of their downy seeds in the fall, with the added bonus of providing a respite for monarchs and other pollinators. To keep milkweed seeds from spreading over your yard, remove seed pods before they open in the fall. Or better yet, tie a string or a rubber band around the immature seed pods to keep them from opening. But leave the seeds to mature on the plant, then Either in the fall or the following spring, collect the seed pods and give them to a friend or community natural area that wants to plant milkweed. In the spring, if you notice little milkweed plants popping up where they are not welcome, you can easily pull them by hand. Milkweeds grow a deep tap root, making them easy to pull when they are young, but more difficult to completely remove once they are mature. When possible, Pull unwanted milkweed plants late in the spring before monarchs arrive to avoid inadvertently removing monarch eggs or caterpillars. With a little pre-planning and care, you can provide critical monarch habitat without compromising your garden. As a robust and low-maintenance native plant, 
Milkweed species are an excellent addition to any perennial bed, rain garden, or pollinator patch. <laughs>